Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT. In this video we will show you everything you need to know about the HP EliteBook 840G7. The design of the HP EliteBook 840G7 has changed somewhat from the previous model, the HP 840G6. The biggest change is that it's thinner and lighter and this is mainly due to the reduced bezels around the screen. This is a 14 inch mid-range business laptop and it sits between the lower end ProBook series and the higher end EliteBook 1000 series. And the only difference between this model and the smaller brother, the EliteBook 830 G7, is the screen size. Pricing for the G7 starts at around 1400 USD for the Intel i5 CPU and goes all the way up to 1600 USD for the i7 CPU. In the box you will get a grey HP laptop bag warranty and setup documentation, along with a 65 watt USB-C power adapter. The laptop uses around 7 to 31 watts of power, and you can expect to get around 11 hours of battery life. Charging the battery will take just under one and a half hours. Next you will have the G7 itself. The 840G7 comes with a 14 inch FHD LED anti-glare HD display, with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, and 250 nits of brightness. Because the bezels are thinner, the laptop footprint is smaller, so you are saving space on bezel overhang, which is awesome. Out of the box though, I was able to get Fortnite to run okay, giving up about 35 to 50 frames per second. This was mostly due to the Intel quad-core i5 10th gen CPU and the 8GB of RAM, as the Intel GPU is not the best for gaming. The G7 does also have a fingerprint scanner, which will allow you to unlock windows with the touch of a button. Along the top you will find an integrated HD 720p webcam with a dual microphone and indicator light. One of the cool things about the G7 design is you can close off the camera with a sliding button. On the right hand side you have a charging port, one HDMI 1.4 port, two USB-C ports and a SIM card slot. No RJ45 Ethernet, so this model is Wi-Fi only. You also have an indicator light to show when the laptop is being charged. The USB-C doubles as a display port, so if you have a USB-C to HDMI adapter, you can plug in an external display. On the left you have a Kensington lock, two USB 3 ports, audio jack, SC card reader. Annoyingly though, there is no SD card reader because of the size of the laptop. The 840G7 comes with Bang and Olufsen tuned speakers, and they are designed to point upwards towards your ears. The speakers sound pretty good, but are missing a little bass. Take a listen. Poppy is the leader of the trolls, and it's not her fault she's so insanely happy. She just never faced a real problem. Until now. The trackpad is nice and wide, but I do find myself right clicking a lot because to left click you need to press on the left side of the trackpad. And for me it feels like the trackpad sits too far to the left. This model comes with an extra right and left mouse button, along with a rubber nipple which I know some people prefer over the trackpad. The keyboard is a delight to type on, and does not bend when pressing the keys. Also the letters printed on the keys are bigger than normal, which would be great for some users. The overall build feels like good quality, and the display hinge folds all the way back 175 degrees. However, other laptops go all the way to 180 degrees, so 175 feels a bit awkward. You can also upgrade the G7 by removing the screws from the bottom cover. The system supports 64GB of RAM, so you can upgrade that along with a 1TB NVMe SSD if you want to. There's also a slot to upgrade to Wi-Fi. Here's the Geekbench CPU score and the GPU score. If you're looking for a gaming laptop, then you're better off looking for a laptop with the GeForce MX or the Radon RX GPU configured. While this laptop is small and easy to carry, I feel the lack of SD card reader and a few other ports is a bit of a letdown for me, personally. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to use the camera app one-handed on iPhone. And do me a favour, if you know anyone who might need this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.